Hi, it's Sonia. Welcome back to my art YouTube channel. Uh, this is going to be a um, what I pack to when I'm traveling because I guess holidays are coming. Maybe you're planning on going away or traveling to see family. And it's um, I'm just looking over at my desk. Uh, I, uh, I guess we all probably pack different things. So let me know in the comments what you pack. But I'm going to show you what I like to take along. Um, it's maximalist. I do do smaller travel packs, but let's get into it. So yeah, let's go. Hi, right, so this is my desk. I've got everything out. Um, yeah, it's a bit gloomy and rainy here, so I don't know if that's going to affect the quality of the video. But yeah, here we go. So I've got some empty pencil cases that I'm going to use to put uh, stuff in. Um, so basically, let's go through the sketchbooks that I'm planning to bring. Um, if you're going to go minimalist, I guess you'd only take one. But because we're going by car and I can pack uh, a little bit heavier, uh, I'm going to take, this is obviously super easy. This is my little tiny, it's an Artesia, like mixed media small sketchbook. Where else that? Um, I started it the wrong way round, so it starts here. But I have it in my handbag, and I am using it for when I'm out and about uh, making sketches on scene. I guess urban sketching. I mean, some of them are super sketchy. That's a soccer match. This is a recent one from a. I went to an art society meeting sketching people. So uh, yeah, and this. I'll come back to this one actually because that shows one of my favourite pens. But I'm going to take this one because I was thinking maybe if we're out and I can sketch having coffee or um, who knows. I'm going to keep this one for on scene sketching. See if that one gets used. It is to be fair a ski break so it is quite active so like my time sketching will probably be I don't know if I I don't know when but let's we'll find out how it all goes really. Some, sometimes I go away, I do no sketching, to be quite transparent. Other times I've gone away on travels with and on with family and I've sketched every day. So you, I, um, again, let me know in the comments. I actually think, you know, you see all these beautiful travel sketchbooks um, and yeah, I guess it's, it's different for all of us. Maybe for some of us it's a chance to do more drawing and painting and it's relaxing maybe for some of us it's busy and actually you get distracted by family and travel hiking and more active you know like again if you want to assume if some of you i don't know gone mountain biking it's pretty hard you can't exactly draw and paint while mountain biking for example that is obvious on you but anyway back to this okay so this journal is one that I've started up again. I had it lying around. It is my anything goes journal at the moment. It started off back in 2021, but then I locked, put it down. I mean, it's a nice dotted paper one. This was, um, I had some like, I don't know where I'd got these sketches. I was a man on a horse and under here was a different person's face. But I've come back to this page and I've added on um, a self portrait and then a sketch of my husband from behind. Uh, so I'm changing it. I still like to change up pages sometimes. I guess I had it next to me. This is very faint, but sketching my youngest reading in bed. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a personal one. There is writing. So I'm keeping this with the mind that I'm not so going to share every page of it in the future, but it's for me. This is my journal, really. It's like a, yeah, an anything goes journal. Oh, if I read books, this one I can show this is like... I think I was reading the history of art without men, just making some notes because it helps me focus when I'm reading these sort of books. But um, latter pages, yeah, I'm really trying to get back into sketching on scene. I realised I was a bit scared of uh, drawing, um, not scared, but like interiors. Sometimes all the lines, I was sometimes thinking, oh, that's too difficult, tired. So I'm trying to push myself into using sketching quickly and getting back to it. And then this morning I made a quick um, sketch with my favourite, I'll go into my pens, but this is my favourite brush pen and I'm going to definitely take that because it just allows for like five minute quick sketches. Um, and I've counted the pages, so I can't do any more 
counted the pages. So I've got enough left for me to hopefully fill that one. Okay, this isn't the one I showed this. I did. This, I've done this. Recorded a sketchbook tour that I will put out. Um, this is an old sketchbook of mine. But I am going to take. I've got a few of these. I bought them on offer. I think from Blick or something. And um, I gave them. They're more for the kids. I sort of said the kids could have these, but. They sometimes they're, they're, I love them. They don't. They just will go into one page, do a drawing, and then the rest of the, the paper's blank. So I'm going to bring one of these because then the kids can tear out pages, draw in it as well. Because they probably won't pack their own supplies. But I can also use it for. And I'm thinking this sort of paper for um, uh, more pra thinking about. I'm going to hopefully be doing a floral, a loose floral workshop or loose still life workshop. Just playing about, keeping up. Um, technique and thinking about or maybe even if with this sort of paper if I use the gouache pretty thick I can then also they can become prints if I really like what I make I am being very ambitious aren't I to go away for like a week and I'm gonna do all this this may you, I make up nothing maybe, maybe nothing occurs but anyway and then I'm gonna take this cause this isn't a very um, thick sketchbook it's very thin so it's quite light and it's my hundred heads one and I thought maybe it's an opportunity uh to do a few heads in it and keep going like I feel it's important to practice this sort of drawing for me because I can get rusty and um and then lastly so I don't think it's too much is it uh lastly I'm going to be taking this my abstract sketchbook because I've sort of committed to try and do every day for like 30 days in it and um, so I want to bring this one along with me because I can I think this is something I can easily play with and play with mixed media so yeah this is my big sketch this is the biggest one and the heaviest but I feel it's also the one that I'm more, most likely I, I am to work in to be honest with you yeah, so I don't know. Now I look at this, I'm like, really, Sonia? Uh, but if I think that's more for the kids, then actually that's for, and that's like a journal. That's like, yeah, okay. So that's my pile of sketchbooks. Okay, and then I'm going to just show, I don't think I'm taking too <laughs> feedback. Maybe I'm taking a, an awful lot. I mean, it'll all fit into one bag. I've got a, um, but... Uh, yeah, this is not a plein air. I will do a different, if you want to see my plein air travel supplies, that's totally different. And if I'm sort of more going like away and we're packing light, like there isn't much room. Um, so if I was going over to the UK or something and I didn't, sometimes I don't even take, uh, what's the word, hold luggage, then obviously I have a really simple sketching um, kit so I can show that as well. But this is more if you've got room and you're camping or drive you know you've got room for stuff okay let me, am i taking this pencil Please. okay let's go with pens so let's get these out right actually because i'm going to pack those let's say pens so pens i'm just taking this selection i like it. these are fine liners this one was an old one i just want to use up sometimes it's a good opportunity to take stuff that you want to use up i've had that for ages this is a 0.3 fine liner these ones, um, my middle son, who was he's not really doing as much drawing now, but he really got into drawing and loved, uh, he loves these the, these Tombow sort of brush pens. Let me show you. Like, I don't know if it's going to, sort of like a, a brush, kind of demonstrate it. So you can do like a fine line. I mean, you might know all, all know this, but then you can also get sort of like a thicker line. I mean, these are cool. So I've got a few of those because he, the boys might want to use them. That's, that's actually with pencils, but that's obviously a blending stump. Do you know something? I only found out about these um, like three or four years ago. And to shout out who from? So the kids were into watching like Art Hub for Kids and they got into like J Jazza, Jezza, Jazza, the art chap from Australia. And he was talking about this and I was like, whoa. I mean, I've always used my finger and maybe a bit of a uh, tissue paper or rubber, but I was like, well, should we, and they are actually really good if you're into pencil work because yeah, it stops you having to, you know, for the little bit. So this is really dirty, but anyway. Um, and then lastly, this is my 
ultimate uh, favorite supply for, yeah, I mean, to make, give me a, a 2B pencil, sometimes a 6B pencil and this, and I don't need anything else really. I love the brush, these Pentel brush pens because they're refillable. So you can buy the cartridges for them. Um, I don't think that you, and I'm sure they correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think they have a converter yet. So you do have to have these disposable cartridges, but yeah, you can refill them. So, and I've had the, you know, have them for ages. The only problem is if I lose them. And then, um, yeah, you get a beautiful thick line and they're just, they really changed my ability to loosen up and to sketch quickly uh, in, you know, take them with you all over the place, really. Like, for me, they're great for urban sketching. Uh, I'm just trying to think, did I show you? Yeah, I mean, you sure some work in that other journal. Um, okay, so that's pens. Uh, I'm also gonna take a little bit of masking tape, because why not? This is my, this pencil sharpener. I've got a pencil sharpener. I need this double-ended one, and I'll show you why in a minute, because of the pencils. I'm not sure if this is a great rubber, but I'm taking it. Let's go to paints. Okay, the only paints I'm going to take this time around are my trusty... Can I open it? This is ancient. Um, like... 20... Yeah, it's ancient. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I feel so old when I say that because I don't even know how old it is. All I know, it's... Yeah, it's fine and it does it. It's been brilliant. It does its job. I don't use it that much because I'm a bit terrible now about going out, sort of sketching on scene and such. Um, but it really, for watercolours, it's fine. I mean, they get all really dirty because the, pe okay, the brushes I'm going to take, I'm only going to take, like, I'm just going to take um, these sort of brushes, to be honest with you. Sometimes I will pack. If I'm going really heavy in the past, I've actually just packed actual brushes and tubes of gouache and I don't know, like, but anyway, this is what I'm taking. I probably need to give it a bit of a clean. But I love this. This is a great travel set of paints. It's Windsor and Newton, it's their student range, but it's fine for like out and about urban sketching, personally. Tell me if I'm wrong on that. Um, okay, where am I? Good put this. And then, okay, this, I don't know how this is gonna work out. I'll feed back to you. Normally I would take, I would take some tubes of gouache with me to places and then a palette, a cheap plastic palette and I'd like, you know, get a glass, like the bathroom glass and fill it with water and just paint with, but I've got to be honest, sometimes I feel recently, I haven't been doing that much painting when I've gone away and I wonder if it's just that extra thing of squeezing some out, cleaning up the palette that extra um, hassle. And actually it was thanks to doing YouTube videos. It suddenly reminded me when I was looking back at those sketchbook tours from, oh gosh, this happened before, didn't it? I can't open the thing. Um, we can see it's securely closed as well. Um, I did some sketchbook tours of work from when I was in Switzerland. And this is the only set of gouache I was sort of using then. And I was remembering why I loved it is because um, I was sketching in like my youngest nap time. So I'd have like a, as I got older, I got less and less, like, you know, an hour, and you did a few chores, like an hour window. And you could just get this set of paints out, uh, mix up your colours, have your brush, and then when you're done, there isn't any, there wasn't any, it's just, you just close it up. And it was, it's super convenient from that point of view, not squeezing out paint, mixing, I mean, you are mixing it, but all you do need with it is a tube of, I don't know if it'll fit. And I used up the white it came with, and no, it won't fit. But yeah, I'm going to take a white with me. So we'll see how we get on with that. I mean, it's not, I don't love the quality as much now that I've experienced Winsor Newton Holbein. Um, and some ways even Artesia, but it's adequate, I think, for playing around, maybe in my abstract sketchbook, in journal, journaling, like landscapes and stuff. Right, really, I'm running out of room. Okay, okay. So I've done that, and then, oh, this is an old, this is a good little travel sketchbook size. So I'm getting distracted. This was one that I used to um, like to take with me, this square Artesia one, but I'm gonna use what I've got, to use up some of my supplies. Okay, now, this is, comes under crayons and, yeah, this is my, what, well, this tin, was when I, I had at school, when I was a school girl, like, I guess, sort of high school. Uh, middle school and um, you can see because 
engraved here and then back then we used to write the boys that we fancied like this is like seems like Chloe Love Ben we yeah we engraved we used to engrave it in with our um oh gosh what do you call it the when you did a is it a compass oh geez in maths like yeah we so that's this has got good memories for me well memories of school and um but I love it it still functions as a great tin I think it was a gift from my father as well so I, I just stick my crayons in it now and it's just an assortment of crayons I do like sometimes to have these brights that's made a huge um they're all rubbed it is what it is but they tend to be neo colors um and then I do need to just put a hairband around it and I Lug. It is a bit heavy, it isn't the smallest. I could probably pare that down as well in a smaller tin if I was really going backpacking to draw um, on scene, which I am planning for next year. I would like to do that, go on walks or take out my bike and find some. Too many ideas, too little time, but yeah. And I do love working by myself in the studio as well, so. Uh, and then a glue stick, I'll take that because I'm just, no, I don't know, so it's fun to glue things in your journal, isn't it, your personal journals. Okay. On to, actually, these are a couple of crayons I thought I'd bring for wax with this, just when I'm painting. Okay, pencils. I'm just going to take a selection of these Prismacolor, a few pencils. I was thinking about this. I mean, the other thing is the kids like to do pencil drawings, but then they can pack their own. Um, I'm just going to take a few because I tend to use them nowadays on top of gouache. I'm not sure I'm going to offer drawing portraits. I don't tend to, as it were, I don't need a big selection because I don't tend to do like heavy landscapes or even florals with the pencils. These are more for drawing, drawing and for adding highlights and at the moment, but we'll see. And I quite like taking these little stubby bits because it almost feels like I could use them up and then um, get rid of the bits. Oh, on pencils though. Okay, these are, I will put affiliate links in case anybody is interested and um, wants to purchase some of the stuff and these ones are and also then I also get a tiny commission but these ones I've recently spent out on again because I, I bought them ages ago and they are the best so like so I waited till they're not a great offer now but um I can't remember how much these cost but I love them so much these are brilliant these are core is it core I'm not no uh, magic rainbow pencils and so you get like this is the neon one let's test them out for you this is a yellow and red so I love when I'm drawing like urban sketching drawing people you don't know exactly what's going to come up when you're drawing it and then for coloring in so yeah for me these pencils will probably be great for scenes I don't have the sketchbook but when we were away I did do someone's like detailed urban sketchy things with just these and um i really like the effect this one's a bit weird because it's got white in it so it's red and blue really but yeah these are great so i'm taking these they are big i mean they're bigger rounder pencil so that's why i have to bring this pencil sharpener okay and then in terms of pencils if you said to me like What's your favourite? I've got a couple of HBs, but what is my favourite? The one that I think you could do practically anything with. I, I love a 2B. I think a 2B is really good. When I did a, some teaching for the kids at the little uh, little pod school, like my um, first graders, I remember I got a set of, so I've got these left over, like a set of, I can't remember how I got a box of 12. And I said to them, you know, and I was trying to tell them about pencil uh, hardness and show them, demonstrate this to them. I said, this is, so um, I've got, quite a few of these left over but yeah these Tombow 2B ones are I really like them because I use so many different materials I don't tend to like I know some people I've seen on you know so you like black I've never tried a black wing pencil but obviously if you're a real pencil artist you're going to know a lot more and go into more depth than I am with you but um this is because I'm mixed media I want good stuff but I don't know that much about each material as it were my other go-to pencil at the moment is this, oh my gosh, my eyesight, eight, an 8B. I thought it was 6B, that's interesting. It's felt like, yeah, 8B, I love 8B. I mean, it's very smudgy, but the depth, I've been doing a lot of sketching with just an HB and then sometimes using that um, blender. I've just got a couple of, these are HBs just because, yeah, okay. So I think, have I gone through everything? Oh. My other one thing I'm thinking about, because I do enjoy sometimes that meditative aspect of 
journaling. I might just grab, oh, I just dropped the camera, so I probably edited the bit out because I was grabbing um, from my box. I've got a box of the kids' markers that they don't really use now because they're fussy and they like, I don't know. Anyway, I might grab just a selection, a random selection of markers like you sometimes see in, if you've watched in my abstract process videos. And then that might be a fun, in the evening if the kids are read, I don't know, when we're just watching so, oh, on their screens, I can then just doodle amongst people. But it's kind of that mindless, it doesn't feel, yeah, it's just a relaxing thing if you're tired from the day, as it were. So uh, I'm, I'm not necessarily going to take these, but I will just maybe stick my hand in all and grab. I would like to take, oh, I love a fluorescent. I do like a highlighter pen, though. So I'm going to stick that in my to-go pile. Good. All right, then. That is uh, that's the end of this video in terms of my art, current art supplies that I'm planning on taking. <laughs> Feedback to me, like, am I slightly nutty and taking too much? Or do you think actually I'm uh, minimalistic? As I say, this is a ma maximalistic, uh, as it were, travel kit. Um, I can do very minimal and maybe I will show that. And, who knows, maybe next year I'll go out and about and do some sketching and show what I can do with a minimal kit. But anyway, this is this is a, a fun travel supply uh, exercise for me as well. So yeah, I'm gonna go and pack my uh, pencil cases. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys are up to and I will see you next time. Bye.